Hey you guys, we are back. Day two. Um, for Charlene's appointment after surgery. And um, we're at the doctor getting ready to, we're waiting to be seen so that they can check and see how everything is doing after 24 hours of surgery. Charlene is doing all right. How you sleep last night, Trey? It was hard, but it was fine. I'm just not used to staying on one side of my body all night. <laughs> yeah, he did good. He was a very good patient. He didn't ask for too much. He didn't complain. He got a pretty high tolerance for pain and things like that. So, and he's pretty independent. So, he didn't really ask for much. So, but yeah, it was a very tiring day. We went to sleep when we got home. Watched a Bible movie. I was just, I just pretty much crashed for a couple of hours. But Jermaine's doing good, and we are waiting to receive our good news from the doctors about his surgery yesterday. So we will be back again once we get to the back and see the doctor. All right. Bye. I'm trying to see if you can see. <laughs> you put a what? A soldier, a, a temporary sewing on your leg. Did they replace your K-Pro? I don't know. I don't believe so. So your lid's not going to open all the way because they put little stitches in there to keep it closed yeah. it's only temporary but to keep it closed so healing's up okay it's gonna be the healing of it Is your flashlight on on your phone? Huh? Is your flashlight on your phone? Yeah. Still on. Alright, let me give you your drops here. That's a good way to 
way to wear a battery down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When that goes on, you don't know. Mm -hmm. All right, don't put your head back. Yeah. Do any drops in this eye at all today? The flashlight's still on. Mm Learn a little bag here. Doctor just came in. How's the pain part doing? It hurts a little bit, but not too bad. That's good. Are you seeing what's out of the eye yet? No. concern was that it's possible that there was a leak from the front so I did I didn't change I didn't have to change the care prosthesis the same care prosthesis because it looked okay and I was concerned about healing issues but I did uh, put some extra tissue around one edge that we were concerned might be leaking mm -hmm. to just kind of strengthen it more but I didn't have to take out the care prosthesis or, or put a new one in I didn't even have to do a new cornea transplant Okay. It just put some extra tissue just in that one space that uh, looked concerning. Um, so now we just have to kind of obviously give it time to let it heal. Um, let me bring this in and take a peek at your eye. I did put in the, we had opened up the eye and the, you know, towards the nose where there was the attachment. And we put a stitch in that space again to kind of try to get it to stay as well closed as possible. your right.
fury. And now it looks like it's closing up well all the way to the edge. We just have to give it time to see what will happen. Look up for me. And then you you are seeing Dr. Woodman today, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So he said he'll look inside too and see what you can tell about the retina, but it looked good at the end of the surgery. Um, the drops are essentially going to be the same things. I'm going to have you use the ofloxacin, prednisolone, but I also want you to use the vancomycin all three, four times a day. Okay. Do you have the vancomycin already? They gave me some loose tears. Sorry? You got some yesterday? Yeah, they gave me a loose or loose tears. Perfect. So those are the three ones that I want you to use from my side of things. I don't know if Dr. A woman will have any additional ones for you to use. I doubt it. So those are probably going to be the main things you continue doing. Um, you can definitely use some lubricating eye drops around the eye as well, or uh, on the eye as well, if you need to for any scratching. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so the first appointment is done and we are at Chimera's second doctor's appointment. In the retina clinic. In the retina clinic. I got the camera on you. How your appointment go? Well, I just left the cornea clinic and as far as the cornea doctor is concerned, he says uh, everything is looking fine with the eye so far. He had to patch uh, some tissue around the K-Pro because it looked a little weak because uh, there that's where the concern the leak was initially I guess so he patched a little tissue around he didn't have to replace the K-Pro he said everything is looking fine my vision has not returned but that may be due to the fact that the eye still has major swelling in there mm -hmm. so we're just gonna you know keep praying and play it by ear until the swelling goes down but we're here in the retina clinic now, so the retina specialist can take another look at the retina to see how successful it looks to him. And from there, we pretty much just go home. And you'll be back next week. <laughs> and I'll be back next week to see the retina clinic. And he uh, <laughs> told me to put the eye drops in four times a day versus the two times I was putting it in. I guess to help heal it, you know, st more uh, steroids and antibiotics basically into the eye and over time you know it, we pray it heals and my sight is restored yeah Tremaine made a comment um what you say you just waiting for the waiting to, to see <laughs> waiting to see <laughs> only thing we can do is wait to see literally <laughs> wait to see yep so we just waiting his vision will return. We're just waiting for the swelling to go down, and then he'll be able to see in Jesus' name. Amen. So, yep, everything's going well. We're just waiting to see what this, uh, the, this, the doctor who did the surgery yesterday also, he's going to give us uh, his view on things and see how everything's going and what he wants to do next. And as far as I know, as of right now, I don't have to do the position and sleeping anymore, but... We'll see what the doctor actually says. He's probably going to take some pictures too. Hmm. Not looking forward to that poking and prodding, but What's the nice name, Mayo or Mello? whichever one comes first, it's yeah. fine. Yep. All right, so we'll let you know how things go. When we get in the back, I'll try to do some recording so you guys can hear what's going on and how everything's going. All right, so we'll see you on the next one. See you.
Is it possible you can give me a roll of tape so I can put the patch back on? Absolutely. Lay it on, cause. Yep. Dr. Mean gave me a roll, but it's almost at the end of the roll. Can you turn your head this way? Look to this side at all times, okay? Is it possible you can wipe the corner of my eye? Oh, yeah, feels definitely. a little gunky right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look to your far right. And that'll make it easier to line up the lens of the K Pro with the light. Perfect, right there, yes. That's it. Yep. Perfect. Look to the Obviously, the retina kind of started to detach, and it's just a, it's a, as you've dealt with this before, right? It's a very, it's a, what is, what is the word I'm looking for? One thing leads to the next, and they build on each other, mm -hmm. right? And so the hope is, you know, at the end of the case, so we peeled off some scar tissue from your retina. Mm -hmm. We got the retina flat, we put the oil back in, and then Dr. Meehan worked on the leak without having to exchange the K-Pro, which I think is the best option, right? If, instead of putting in a new one, mm -hmm. so... That's why I just wanted to see what Dr. Meehan had to say, okay? Yeah, he said it looks like it's, it's looking good as far as you can tell right now. You won't see me back in a week.
Not really want to bang into the little Dorabi. Okay. Maybe not the three or four. Let's take a look. He said, as far as he knows, there's no reason for you to keep positioning, but that, you know, he said to ask you about that. Yeah, that, that's that's for me to decide. Yeah, that's what he said. Face down on the right, correct? Mm -hmm. Look down a little. Face down on the left, I thought left. it was the left. Sorry, mm -hmm. look down a little bit. I'm going to say, uh oh, I done messed up, dude. <laughs> Down and right. That's why I look at another light, okay? Yeah, this is the one that's going to hurt. <laughs> It's not as soft as it was yesterday when you felt it. No, de definitely not as soft as yesterday. Go ahead and tilt your head back a little bit. And just close. Sorry, I'm just going to press a little bit, okay? Mm. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Or this is just me opening up your eyelid, okay? Look down and right. Perfect. Yeah, I was expecting that that came in from the Cape Rail. You know what I mean? Look to your right. Up and right. Straight up. A little to your left. Left to your left. There we go. Sorry, I apologize. Did you break here for a second? No, go ahead. It's gonna hurt no matter what, the torso or not. Look down a little. Down a little bit more. Straight down to your toes. That's what I'm trying to look. Down a little bit right. There you go. There you go. Because our retina avenue is near the, you know, it's pretty far out there. Mm -hmm. Look down. I'm not seeing a significant coroidal. Look down. And again, I don't have the greatest view. Yeah. Down and right. And I was just wondering that based on the sloping of what I was seeing, looked 
paper than what I remember disclosing as a book all the way down. Down and right. Hard to see, but definitely looks attached. Mm -hmm. Look all the way right. Yeah, I mean, like you said, I don't see any meniscus, right? Yeah. Look down. Well, yeah, I use the wires I don't know now. <laughs> I'll talk to you about everything. I just want to make sure that things look good, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah.